So now I'm going to palpate the flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus which lie deep to the other forearm flexors. So superficialis is going to attach to a few places. It's quite a big flat muscle and it attaches here at the common flexor tendon, uh, medial epicondyle. It also attaches at the coracoid process, the ulna and the ulnar collateral ligament. And it's going to travel, it's quite big. It's going to travel distally and it's going to separate into four different tendons. It's going to pass underneath the flexor retinaculum and it's going to attach to, it actually splits off and attaches to the middle phalanges of digits two, three, four, and five. So when it gets down there, it actually sort of forks off to the sides and attaches on either side of the digits like that. And underneath it, we have flexor digitorum profundus. Now flexor digitorum profundus does not cross the elbow joint. It attaches to the proximal surface of the ulna, probably about two thirds, the upper two thirds of the ulna. And then it does the same thing as superficialis. It passes underneath the retinaculum and splits off as well into the four tendons. And these ones actually come through that forked superficialis tendon and attach onto the distal phalanges of digits two, three, four, and five. So now these muscles do flex the wrist, but when I get my partner to flex her wrist against resistance, I get all of these superficial muscles in the way. So just relax like that. So what I'm gonna do to palpate these effectively, I can do a couple of things here. Um, I'm gonna actually just get you to open and close your hand. So close, good, keep doing that. So I can actually feel, just nice and slow, not too crazy, there we go. Yeah, I can feel superficialis and profundus through the tendons of the flexor carpi ulnaris, the palmaris longus, and the flexor carpi radialis. Okay, just relax for me. Then if I want to as well, I can shorten the muscle up and shorten the muscle up so I can get into the deep part of the medial forearm. Now I'll just get you to flex your fingers again, or like clench, yes, there we go. Perfect, and I can feel in here can actually feel the difference between profundus, which is like tucked underneath superficialis, and then I can feel the fibers of superficialis as well. Another way to do it is I'm gonna get you to wiggle your fingers, like all of them, doodly doodly do, like that, perfect. And I can feel all those individual tendons under my thumbs, and they stop, they stop around here. So this is where they're, they're gonna, the, the muscle belly, thank you, is going to split off. So that is flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus.